everybody, welcome to Relish. I'm Allie, I am a nutritionist and a yoga teacher, and I'm here to talk to you about nutrition once a week here on The Relish Show. So welcome to the show. I'm super excited to be here today. We are going to be talking about cinnamon. So I've got some cinnamon sticks here, and I've got some ground cinnamon here. Oops, ground cinnamon, the camera's always opposite. Here, let's just open it up and take a sniff. Mmm, smells so good. I thought this would be a really fitting spice to discuss today since we're entering the holiday season. Everybody loves a little warmth and comfort. This is the perfect spice for that. So, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk a little bit about the history, what it, where it comes from, some health benefits, some maybe potential drawbacks, and a great recipe from Two Peas in Their Pod called Cinnamon Apple Energy Bars. I'm really excited about those because I think everybody in my family is going to like that. So please feel free to put questions and comments down in the chat. I'm always happy to start a conversation with everybody listening. So if you have anything related to our topic today, please ask questions, make comments, let me know. So let's get started. Cinnamon, one of our favorite, one of my favorite spices. It's just always such a warm and comforting spice. We all know cinnamon. It's always in lots of baked goods. It's in ch chocolate sometimes, in hot chocolate, in coffee and teas. Some people just drink it, you know, and with like a warm glass of milk. Some people do cinnamon lattes. Of course, cookies, cakes, muffins, baked goods, banana bread, any kind of bread. Ooh, cinnamon raisin bread, that's always good too. So, we know cinnamon. And we know that cinnamon comes in the cinnamon stick form, and we know it comes in the powder form. So let's talk a little bit about the history of cinnamon. So it's been used by people for thousands of years. They've marked it back to as early as 2000 BC, which that is a long time ago. Um, cinnamon is native to Sri Lanka, which was which used to be called Ceylon, which is right by India. Um, and yes, so it's on the neighboring coast of India and Myanmar. And it's also been found to be cultivated in South America and the West Indies. So people in Egypt really liked it back in history because it was used for embalming and for religious ceremonies. And the Arabs were, um, known to transport cinnamon from um, Sri Lanka and you know Ceylon or that whole area over to Egypt and to Europe and everything. And these were long, treacherous trips that they took to transport the spice. So it became a very expensive, very sought after spice back in the middle evil, medieval times. So it was a sign of status if you had it and if you used it. Um, it was also very desirable because it could be used to preserve meats, especially in the winter. And in medieval times, doctors were used it to treat things like coughs, arthritis, and sore throats. So it had a lot of uses. And now we use it for our baking and drinking of beverages because it's just so warm and comforting and delicious. But it's also used for a spice rub for meats um, and in soups and stews like curries and so many delicious things. So there are two, this is very interesting. I learned all, a lot in my research for this show. There are two different kinds of cinnamon. There's the Ceylon and there's the Cassia. They both come from different areas of the world. One has better, more health benefits than the other. Uh, so yeah, that's very, very interesting. So the Ceylon, which is the what some people call true cinnamon, because that's where it came from. The for uh, Sri Lanka, formerly known as um, Ceylon. So cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon comes from that region. That's considered true cinnamon. It's also more expensive 
So just keep that in mind when you're buying it. But typically, the type of cinnamon that we usually get from the grocery store that's in baked goods and everything that we eat that has cinnamon in it is the other version, which is the cassia. But I'm going to go back a little bit and talk about the Ceylon. Um, I did look on Amazon, and it's not crazy expensive. You can get it for like $10 for a bag of it, and it looks like a pretty good amount. So if you're interested in just using the Ceylon, Amazon has it. They probably have it at health food stores or co-ops as well. So, for example, like this cinnamon, these are the sticks that I bought. And, you know, it's a pretty fancy brand, but it doesn't say it's Ceylon. So you, should, you can assume that it then is probably the Cassia. So um, just generally, and then we'll go back to the Ceylon and Cassia. But generally, cinnamon comes from a, an evergreen tree from the laurel family. This is interesting. And the spice itself is derived from the bark. So they take, you know, they take the, um, they peel the uh, tree bark, and then the inner part is what we are consuming of the bark. They take it, put it into slices, and then dry the slices, and they just roll up into these little um, cinnamon sticks, which that's pretty cool. And then you grind it to make the ground cinnamon. So um, the Ceylon has a much milder flavor than um, the typical cinnamon that we usually are used to. So... Um, of course, it's still used in things like baked goods, flavoring hot drinks, coffees, teas, things like that. Um, the cassia, now let's go into the cassia, which is even this, this is the, the Penzies, that kind of a fancy brand of spices. I was looking at the label and it says ingredients, China cinnamon, Vietnamese cinnamon, uh, Corinthians cinnamon, and Ceylon cinnamon. So there is a little bit of Ceylon. Often heard that cinnamon is good for glucose diabetic control, but also heard you need so much to make a difference. It's actually not beneficial. What say you? <laughs> Great question. And we are going to, I'm going to talk about that. So in the, in our section of the health benefits of cinnamon, I will address your question. So thank you for asking. Um, but yes, that is one thing one reason people take it as a supplement. So we will discuss. Thank you for the question. Um, the cassia, back to the cassia. It originates from Southern China, but there are also, and it's produced in Indonesia. It has a much stronger smell and flavor, which is what we are used to. So for example, this, this is mostly cassia um, with a tiny bit of Ceylon in it. So, uh, but there are also other varieties, as we read in the label here. Um, Chinese cassia, Vietnamese, or Saigon cinnamon, there's Indonesian cinnamon, and there's Malabar cinnamon as well. And I also wanted to mention that uh, one of my favorite teas, Egyptian licorice, that I, I always know, you know, besides the licorice in it, it, it has a very strong cinnamon flavor, and it does have cinnamon bark, and it has cinnamon bark oil which I thought that was interesting since we were just talking about cinnamon being used in Egypt. So just something to know. Um, another thing that I read was that cinnamon is the second most popular spice in the United States and Europe, second to black pepper. So lots of people are consuming cinnamon. Okay, so let's get into the nutrition and then we'll get into the benefits that have been found for uh, diabetes. I can't wait to make our recipe too. So nutrition. So just like we were just talking about, cinnamon's made by cutting the stems of the cinnamon trees. So the inner bark is then extracted and the woody parts are removed and they are dried and they turn into these little cinnamon rolls. They curl into rolls called cinnamon sticks, um, which we then grind for the cinnamon powder or ground cinnamon. Let's see if they call it ground cinnamon. It is called cinnamon, but it's ground cinnamon. Okay. Uh, one of the most active ingredients in cinnamon is called cinnamaldehyde. Go, or what have you. 
Um, and that that's what gives it its distinct warm and comforting smell and flavor, and which is used in flavorings and extracts. Um, it's also res may be responsible for the health benefits of cinnamon. Okay, so this is just kind of a general statement, then we'll kind of dive in into more detail. But some studies suggest that the compounds in cinnamon have these properties, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antidiuretic, antimicrobial, and they also might protect from cancer and cardiovascular disease, among other conditions. Um, but there isn't a ton of evidence out there. There's a there aren't a ton of studies, but those are some of the claims and some of the what research is looking at with cinnamon. Uh, and there was a study done that compared the antioxidant activity of 26 different spices, and cinnamon by far had the highest amount of antioxidant qualities in it, which that was pretty cool. So, also something to keep in mind. Okay, so in more detail, uh, cinnamon has been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease, which that's always a good thing. Um, and then, here we go, it has also been shown to help people with type 2 diabetes. So this, there was a study done and it said that you have to consume one half teaspoon to one whole teaspoon of cinnamon every day for it to have these beneficial effects. So that is kind of a lot, as you said in the comment. Um, so that's, that's a lot of cinnamon. That's a lot of cinnamon. Even if you're spreading it out through the day, half a teaspoon to one teaspoon is a pretty good amount. So I think some people do take supplements. That's something to talk about with your doctor. Hi, LA. I love it in mold wine, mold wine, cinnamon. Ooh, yes. I didn't mention the mold wine. Great call, Kelly. <laughs> I love that in mold wine, too. I will be making some of that this year during the holiday season for sure. Um, so yes, we're, we're getting some health benefits with these cinnamon sticks and our mold wine. Okay, so the reason why it is good for the diabetes, or that's what they've found, is that it has been helpful in reducing insulin resistance. Cinnamon is also shown to decrease the amount of glucose that enters your bloodstream after a meal, which that's interesting. It does this by interfering with the digestive enzymes, that's, which then slow down the breakdown of carbohydrates in your digestive tract. There was also a review of 18 studies that suggest that cinnamon might lower your blood sugar levels, like your actual blood sugar levels. But I think it didn't say this in what I was reading, but I was thinking, I'm sure that means just taking it as is and not having cinnamon in a baked good because then you're going to have lots of sugar. So typically, I'm assuming all of these studies, they're using cinnamon by itself, not in combination with a baked good. So just that's something to keep in mind. Or in a tea or something like that, like the tea that we were just talking about. So um, there have been some other studies that have found that it could help reduce your total cholesterol and your LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol. It doesn't do anything to your HDL, which is your good cholesterol. But and it also has been found to help reduce triglycerides as well. So that's something. That's something, and um, there also have been some animal studies that have suggested that cinnamon can help prevent Alzheimer's disease. So they found that one of the extracts from cinnamon bark um, could help prevent some of the symptoms of Alzheimer's. They did this in a study with mice, and it found that they had improvements, they found improvements in the mice's ability to think and reason. So I don't know how they test that, but that's what they found. So those are some pretty great health benefits of cinnamon. And they do say, though, that usually it has to be from the Ceylon cinnamon versus the cassia. So that's just something to keep in mind. Maybe if you're doing the supplement, look for the Ceylon. Definitely talk to your doctor about all of this because I'm not going to be recommending what to do for all of these um, 
potential benefits, but I'm just giving the information that I found. Um, the cassia variety, this is interesting, has a compound called Kumarin, I think I'm pronouncing that correct, which has been found that in large doses could be harmful to our health. So um, large doses, you know, very few of us are going to be having these large doses of cinnamon on a daily basis, but they have found that um, the Ceylon variety has much lower amounts of the Kumarin, and that's why they say it's better for you, it's the true cinnamon, and it's just overall healthier for you. So that's just something to keep in mind when buying and using cinnamon, if you're going to be using it for these health reasons. Otherwise, just use it as normal in your baking, in your drinks, in your mold wine, in your coffee, things like that. I know my mom likes to put cinnamon in her coffee grounds before brewing coffee, and that just makes a really delicious cup of coffee, especially in the winter. I'm going to have to do that now that I just said that. That sounds so good. Um, let's see. So anything else? So yes, yeah, some people take cinnamon as a supplement and, um, definitely talk to your doctor if you want to take cinnamon as a supplement, especially if you take medications, because there could be interactions, especially, um, it may decrease the effectiveness of antibiotics or diabetic drugs or blood thinners or heart medications. So talk to your doctor before taking a cinnamon supplement. That's the bottom line. But they do, yes, this, all this information is out there about these health benefits and the two varieties. So are we ready to make some apple, or cinnamon apple energy bars? I have my, oh, you can see it right there, my recipe from two peas in their pod. Uh, you can find this recipe on relish.com if you just type in cinnamon apple energy bars. It is on the relish.com website. And it looks, these look really good. I put it in my story. So you, if, if you follow me on Instagram or we're friends on Facebook, you probably saw all the ingredients I took a picture of. They're all behind us right back here. It's super easy. I, I It took me like five to seven minutes to get the ingredients ready. All we have to do is mix them, form them into the little energy balls, refrigerate them, and that's it. So these are gonna be great for on-the-go snacks, for not on-the-go snacks, even if you're home, because many of us are home these days. Uh, so let's make some cinnamon apple energy balls. Okay, so. I've got our bowl here. We're gonna start off with one and one fourth cups of oats. I just always buy the gluten-free oats because they have them at Trader Joe's, but you certainly can use any oats. Okay, we're gonna do the dry ingredients first. So one and one fourth cups oats. Next is one tablespoon of ground flaxseed, one tablespoon of chia seeds. In with the oats. In with the oats. All right. Next is our star ingredient from today. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Use the Ceylon if you have it. This is a mix of cassia and Ceylon. One teaspoon. That always feels like a lot, but it's gonna be good. Okay. And how much salt are we doing? Oh yeah, it calls for allspice, but I'm not a huge fan of allspice, so I'm not putting it in. Um, an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. We got our sea salt. Here we go. Okay. So we've got our dry ingredients. Gonna mix this all together. I like to mix my dry ingredients with a fork just so I know that everything's kind of getting mixed through. All right, here we go. Okay, we've got our cinnamon, oats, salt, chia seed, flax meal. All right, 
then we will add the recipe calls for half a cup of almond butter or peanut butter. I much prefer peanut butter. So I'm using peanut butter, but of course you can use almond butter, cashew butter, any kind of butter, soy butter or sunflower seed butter, all of those. Anything that is just like a pureed nut butter or a similar consistency to a nut butter or seed butter, sunflower butter. I was thinking tahini might be kind of good. Okay. So we've got peanut butter and a fourth of a cup of honey. I'm going to use maple syrup because I like the flavor of maple syrup better than honey. We've got our maple syrup. Fourth of a cup. It also suggests doing this in the stand mixer, which I do have that, but figured let's just do it by hand. Okay, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. You can kind of see it. I'm always afraid I'm going to pour it onto the computer. Okay, and then this is fun. This is three fourths of a cup of chopped dried apples. I got this freeze dried apples. I used the bare baked crunchy. I got the, it's, and this is just apples and cinnamon. So no sugar. Um, but you can also use dried apples as well, like the apple rings. Oh, and do, do, do. yes. Okay, we're mixing that in too. All right. So the peanut butter is a little bit thick, but we got it. It'll be good. Oh my goodness, it already smells really good. It smells basically like cookie dough, which it kind of is, except we're not gonna cook it. But yeah, this is like my favorite, favorite mixture of ingredients. Anything with peanut butter, anything with oats. When I was pregnant with my son, I just wanted oat things that were oat. Anything with oats, oatmeal cookies. I had a cake that was made with oatmeal or with oats. And that was three over three years ago and I'm still enjoying oats. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this looks like a pretty good mix. And now we're just gonna form this into a ball shape. I already got a parchment lined uh, baking sheet. It says to just put it in a container, but I kind of like to do this. All right. Oops. Here we go. And I think these are just going to be really good. Okay. So, shape it into a ball. Put the ball on the parchment. I'll do a few here and then I'll show them to you on the parchment and then you refrigerate it for, it said for at least an hour, just so they can kind of solidify and uh, not fall apart when you eat them. I just made black bean, vegan black bean truffles this past weekend. Oh my goodness, they were so good. This is reminding me of that. They were so good. You would never know the base was black beans. I'm going to have to have, we're going to have to make those on the show because they were so good. Okay. Doing a little time check. All right. Okay. My hands got a little bit sticky. So I'm going to get a little bit of a wipe right here. We always have baby wipes in the house having a little kid and they come in handy. They do. Okay. All right. So we've got, I've got four to show you here. Yum. They look and smell so good. And these are so great for you. Dried apples, oats, cinnamon, peanut butter, chia seeds, flax meal, all the good healthy stuff sweetened with maple syrup, but you can use honey, you can use agave nectar, you can use whatever kind of sweetener that you would like. So this is it. Today's show, all about cinnamon. 
I'm really excited to try these tomorrow. Everything with chia and chia, I know. That's right, Kelly. I am always using chia. Chia goes with everything, especially smoothies and energy balls and oatmeal. Always having chia at our house. So, a quick recap. Cinnamon. Originated in Sri Lanka, formerly known as Ceylon. The Egyptians used to use it a lot for preserving and embalming and religious ceremonies. The popularity moved into Europe. Maya, that's Cafe de Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yum. It's so good. Thank you for the comment, Myra. That's Cafe de Oya when we brew it with coffee grounds. I love doing that. I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. I'm glad we've been discussing this. <laughs> do you do that too, Myra? Um, okay. So, there are two different kinds of cinnamon. The Ceylon, the Cassia. Ceylon is sometimes considered the true cinnamon by some people because that is originally where it came from. Um, it does have the lower amounts of the kumarin. Um, the cassia has the kumarin, so large amounts, they say, is, is harmful, but I think it's pretty hard to get large amounts. Some of the health benefits are that it could be good for diabetes, could help lower cholesterol, could be good for our heart, and could help prevent Alzheimer's disease. Those are the main things that they say. They say it also is high in antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, oh, anti we already said that, and antimicrobial. So lots of good things, lots of good things. And cinnamon is delicious and it makes food delicious as well. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I can't wait to try these energy bites. I'll take a pic, I'll post it tomorrow on my Instagram so everybody can see the final product. And I'll see you again next week talking about something else exciting in the nutrition world. So have a great day. Have a great evening. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.